The Epicurean, a complete treatise of analytical and practical studies on the culinary art, including table and wine service, and a selection of illustrative bills of fare for public and private entertainments, by Charles Ranhofer, is a culinary masterpiece that transcends the boundaries of traditional cookbooks. Published in 1894, this opulent volume stands as a testament to the author's expertise and passion for the culinary arts during the Gilded Age. Ranhofer, the legendary chef of the famed Delmonico's restaurant in New York City, unfolds his culinary wisdom across the pages of The Epicurean. The book is a comprehensive exploration of gastronomy, blending analytical discussions with practical insights. Its significance extends beyond being a mere collection of recipes, it serves as a reflection of the culinary sophistication and cultural milieu of the late 19th century. One notable aspect of Ranhofer's work is its meticulous attention to detail. The author takes the reader on a journey through the intricate nuances of culinary science, emphasizing precision in both ingredients and techniques. Each recipe is a carefully crafted symphony of flavors, showcasing Ranhofer's dedication to elevating the culinary experience. His emphasis on analytical studies underscores the scientific foundation of the culinary arts, aligning with the broader intellectual currents of the time. The Epicurean also delves into the art of presentation, dedicating sections to table and wine service. Ranhofer recognizes that the dining experience is not solely about taste but is also an aesthetic endeavor. His discussion on table service reflects an understanding of the symbiotic relationship between culinary artistry and visual appeal. The meticulous details provided in the book, such as the arrangement of dishes and the selection of appropriate wines, demonstrate Ranhofer's commitment to a holistic dining experience. Beyond the technical aspects, Ranhofer's work captures the spirit of the Gilded Age, an era marked by opulence and indulgence. The book is not only a manual for chefs but also a glimpse into the extravagant world of high society dining. The selection of illustrative bills of fare for public and private entertainments reflects the grandiose social gatherings of the time, where culinary excellence was an essential component of hosting. Ranhofer's writing style contributes to the enduring charm of the Epicurean. His prose is eloquent and evocative, transporting the reader to a bygone era of culinary splendor. The language used is rich and descriptive, emphasizing the sensory experience of each dish. This literary approach adds a layer of sophistication to the work, making it not only a practical guide but also a pleasurable read for those with a literary palate. Moreover, the Epicurean serves as a historical document, offering insights into the evolution of culinary trends and tastes. The inclusion of specific ingredients, cooking methods, and flavor combinations provides a snapshot of the culinary landscape of the late 19th century. It is a valuable resource for historians and food enthusiasts alike, offering a window into the gastronomic preferences of a bygone era. In conclusion, Charles Ranhofer's The Epicurean stands as a monumental work that transcends the boundaries of traditional cookbooks. Its meticulous attention to detail, emphasis on analytical studies, exploration of presentation, and evocative writing style contribute to its enduring significance. Beyond being a practical guide for chefs, the book serves as a cultural artifact, offering a glimpse into the culinary sophistication and social extravagance of the Gilded Age.